Here we are in the dungeon of our wonderful Skywood Research Facility. And I am going to show you guys the little camera um, holder that Patrick made for me. Here it is. So this will allow me to get a straight down view of the work that I make on the torch. Today we're going to make a little tombstone. I love this series. I've been working on it for a couple of years. And the tombstone that we're gonna to make today is gonna to be much more simple. It's just gonna be um, just the tombstone on the grass and that's it. I'll do the rest off the torch. that I was interrupted and I have some packages. Yay, I'm excited. Okay, well, let's see what this stuff is real quick. Well, here's my first package. I got some things for the turtles. Uh, one of my turtles had some, has a uh, ear abscess. And poor little baby. And so, that's been interesting. It is turtle things. Yay, okay. Um, well, this is, what is this? Okay, so uh, what I have here is, it's called Turtle Fix. So it really helps to, uh, you have to have this to keep the water um, turtle ready to go. This is good stuff. So I got some of that. And I got another filter. Yay! I got another turtle filter for my second tank, which is just a feeding tank. And I, I like to put the turtles in there so their main, like, living space isn't so um, disgusting. And then I got some extra filters to put in here. So, yay! Package number one. I'm waiting for that. Oh, there's something else I got. Oh, these little turtles. What these are is um, they are like a health conditioner, and you just throw one in the tank every month or two, and it uh, just after a while it uh, becomes like this little you know piece of nothing. So you get this little turtle you put in the water, and this should be good and healthy for the turtles. I will put all this back in the box very quickly and then we'll get on to the second package which is really heavy and I'm worried because I don't remember buying anything that was like super heavy so I'm like what is what is this oh my god okay so I asked my mom to to send help for the turtles as well. And this is the package that uh, the stuff came in. Let me get rid of all this bubble wrap. Oh my God. I didn't realize how big the, the turtle food was gonna be. <laughs> this is gonna last a lifetime. You know why? <laughs> it was a buy one get one deal so here's our my, our new turtle food and it has all the nutrients a turtle needs um, for all sorts of healthiness because uh, yeah I found my turtles in Woodlawn Cemetery I'll have to take you there at some point I just love walking the cemetery and um, I don't see the heater. The heater didn't come. There's supposed to be a heater in here, and I'm really like, eh, I gotta have the heater. This is huge! A turtle calcium block, and this is what your turtle is supposed to chew on. Look at how big this thing is. 
my turtles are are like you know nine months old the oldest oh my god okay well anyway awesome love getting stuff for the turtles okay well that's enough of that i'll uh I'll show you the turtles uh, next time, maybe. We'll see. Uh, but at some point, yes, you will meet the turtles. All right, let's go back downstairs. Sorry about that interruption, but um, anything that I get in the mail, package-wise, is it always becomes a priority. <laughs> so um, anyway, let's uh, start this piece. And what I'm doing is I'm going to build up this large bundle of um, grassy colors, ground colors, for the base of the tombstone. And all I'm doing here is getting a wad of glass prepared. And I have my tweezers there, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of a twist so, just to make it uh, more interesting. And of course, later on, I realized that that little twist ended up being at the bottom, so it didn't really matter either way. But I'm gonna spend some time just heating up this wad of glass and getting it really, really big. In the center of this um, package of glass, I have a clear rod too, just to hold it all together. And I'm gonna use my quarter inch mandrel here to hold everything on. I'm gonna use it as the base. So I just add a little heat, stick the base wad of glass to the mandrel, and you'll see me move my little rubber band, or my hair band actually out of the way. So I can continue to build up that layer. I want this as large as I can possibly get All right, so everything is looking pretty cool here. I decided to grab my, um, what is that? It's my graphite paddle. And I'm gonna heat everything up and then just press down to form a cookie. And then I spent just a little bit of time flattening it out. Now what I have next to me is a little cup of frit. This is like a chalcedonia and some different iris, maybe iris yellow, I think I threw in there. Anyway, I heat the top of the glass cookie and then obviously the fritz sticks right to it. So I'm gonna heat all that in, but not all the way because I do want um, it to appear to have, you know, some kind of ground foliage rocks or something on there. I'm just gonna heat this up right now. What, I'm, uh, what I was trying to attempt is to get a little bit of reduction going. And that worked out pretty good. So into the oven it went, that was pretty quick. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on a slightly smaller mandrel. And uh, this is just getting ready for the tombstone itself. So I'm gonna build up a base on the end of the mandrel and I kind of start to shape it into the shape, like into the footprint that the tombstone will be at the bottom, which is basically um, long and thin. And all of this is happening on the mandrel itself. So I won't be using any of this glass. You'll see later on how I, I take the, the piece off. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time just straightening things up and then building up the tombstone itself. Now I try to build the tombstone up kind of the same way I built up the uh, bottom part, which is pretty much by grabbing and heating as much glass as I possibly can, and then kind of zigzagging it and, uh, you know, striping it, you know, pulling it on to that base 
to start creating the tombstone shape. And this actually takes a lot longer. At some point I will, uh, in another video, I'll slow things down to real time so you can see how things really happen. And this is funny because I, I couldn't use my hairband anymore, so everything kind of fell apart, all of my rods. So here I am trying with much patience to just <laughs> keep going and working with two rods with a rubber band that's not really quite holding them together and building up again as much as I can, thinking about how large this tombstone needs to be for the base. So it looks like, yes, I have all the glass I need. And what I'm doing is I'm just heating it into shape. So I'm holding it at a downward angle and letting that glass kind of like melt into like a pre-shaped form of the tombstone. And I had to cut some out, but I flattened it out with my um, knife. And now here I am adding a little bit of, I, a little bit of fluff. Like I said, I wasn't going to do it, but I did. I added the fluff to it. And now here goes the little cross on the top. I keep heating the bottom so it doesn't get too cold. I'm going to use my little mini mashers, mini, how do you say, mini mashers to start to create that little bit of cross at the top. I'm doing the sides here now, and I'll still be using that little masher for shaping. You know, as I watch this myself, it's, an, it, it's very interesting because I will just stop talking and just get involved in what I'm doing. <laughs> and then, oh, I need to commentate. Or do I? I don't know. Some people don't commentate at all. Anyway, here's uh, this interesting part here. I'm gonna use some scissors to just start making a crease into the edge of the bottom. Just cutting into it a little at a time until it starts to actually cut into the glass until I have a small amount left on the mandrel. Oh, here's where I'm going to attach my, my final rod. And now here we are. I'm going to take off the, man, uh, the, uh, the punty part. I put that in a can of water so I don't have to worry about it. And now I'm just heating the bottom, straightening things out with my little masher, just like I did the top part. And very quickly, I'm going to grab the base part out of the annealer. And we're going to attach. And of course, before I put it away, I want to make sure everything looks clean, looks nice, just the way I want it. Now I'm going to take it off the base here because obviously I can't put it away like this. So I'm going to heat up my tweezers and take the base off, flatten it and put it away. Cool. Okay, well, here's our finished piece. I'm going to armor etch the whole thing, and then we will start to... Yeah, I did lose the tip of my, my brush there. <laughs> Definitely use a throwaway brush on anything that you want to armor etch. Oh, wait five minutes. I just got back from a couple days of uh, filming and doing holiday things. And I just wanted to show you guys um, the finished finishing of the tombstone. So here's my, here's my tombstone. That's how it turned out. And I think it looks pretty good, you know, considering that I really didn't like it at first, but now I'm kind of like, falling in love with this. Um, I did acid etch the whole thing. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is, this needs decoration. It just needs to be decorated. 
the coffee's ready and you know I'm all about the coffee. So I think I'm going to grab myself a cup of coffee and we're going to get to the workbench and um, continue to work on the tombstone until it's finished. Okay, here I am at my little desk. I'm going to place just a little sticker. Everything's little on this little tombstone and use a little brush with a little bit of black acrylic paint on the end and start scrolling in my pattern. This is like probably the fourth time I painted the tombstone and every time I just didn't like it so I washed it off and scrubbed everything off. So, you know, do your painting first and then add everything later. I'm really happy with how things are going on this final cut of, the, of this tombstone. Okay, so once this is finished, we will peel off that little sticker and then I'm going to uh, just fill it in here in a second with some red paint. And after working on pieces that I have painted, I have noticed that it's nice to have some kind of sealant over the paint as soon as it dries. I'll show you how I do that here in a minute. But first, let's finish painting in the heart. This is the only part that I have that's painted in color. The back part here, I'm just um, kind of giving some shadow behind that little flower. Okay, so this is funny because it's like I'm trying really hard to put these pieces on and they just keep flinging themselves out of <laughs> my tweezers. So the best thing for me to do here in these little beads, they're little tiny beads and each one is a flower. So these are little antique beads that I found and rummaged around looking for. Then I put everything on and then what I'll do is go in and do the UV light and cure the glue. So here I am curing all these little flower patches down. And then we'll start trying to figure out where exactly I'm going to put the rest of these pieces I have um, found for this tombstone. It takes a long time to finish this type of piece because you're just adding stuff and the UV light curing, everything takes time. So I'm really going much faster than it appears to be. So my battery light is turning off. I didn't know how much battery life I would have, but uh, well, this is kind of cool. So I'll just move that out of the way. Here's the battery, and it's a, re <coughs> a reusable battery, so I have this battery charger over here that you just plug into the wall, and I have another battery ready to go. Plug that in. Oh no. Okay, well... I guess we'll have to wait until the battery recharges. I must say um, thank you so much for everybody and your support from the first video. Um, I'm trying to learn how to be comfortable in front of a camera and just be myself. So that's what I'm trying to do here is just be myself in front of my cabinet of curiosities, one of the many in my house. And at some point, you know, like everything, I like to, I like to show my stuff, but I'm a, I'm a hermit. I don't like to leave the house. <laughs> and a lot of people know that about me. And 
maybe don't appreciate that about me, but that's me and that's who I am. And uh, it's my sanctuary here and it's a great place to be and to be creative. And uh, anyway, I'm blah, 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 blahing. So let's go ahead and finish the tombstone. My battery is recharged and I'm gonna finish adding these pieces to the tombstone. I did want to tell you that after I had painted the acrylic on, I used a matte Mod Podge and painted that on to seal the color in. Anyway, um, <laughs> a friend of mine a long time ago gifted me a bag of teeth. And it's not like they're real teeth, but they're just like practice crowns and stuff like that. I guess maybe sometimes they actually do use these, um, but they're just lovely. I've always been fond of them and I use them sparingly, but I thought I'd use one of them on this piece. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of UV glue and attach this final bit and we will be finished. Things always just come together. I will just sit down. Sometimes it takes a couple days, sometimes it takes a couple months, but I'm really pleased with the outcome of this piece and I hope you are too. And that is it. This is the final piece. I decided that it needed a friend. And now it will make its way um, somewhere on a shelf. Shelf fodder. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Bye.